What's going on guys and welcome back to what is another hashtag triple M, otherwise known as Mel Monday. I feel like I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages and I'm so pumped up to do it. Like, I was in America for two weeks and so it's been two weeks since I've done one. It's, it's a while, alright? Two weeks in my head's like five years. And I think like me coming back to Australia's like swapped the weather around or something because outside it's freezing cold at the moment. But while I was in America, it was like boiling hot. So guys, I've got my fluffy socks on. But anyway, while I was at the country, I thought, you know what, I have to have a meet and greet, and so I did. And it was absolutely crazy, like 80 people turned up, and uh, for me, that's like the coolest thing in the absolute world, that people actually wanted to come meet me, and they're driving from like Canada down to America, it was so crazy. But the most mind-blowing part, I thought it'd just be like signing stuff, taking pictures, they gave me so many gifts, so I thought, you know what, this calls for hashtag triple M, gift montage, roll the tape. That's, that's where you roll it. Editor, what are you doing? Roll the tape, roll it! so much for all those gifts guys but without further ado let's crack in today's episode of hashtag triple m let's do it guys sit back down your seats and take a chill pill and just relax right now because you could pass out any moment this thing right here is so heavy it's all the way from canada right it's got hashtag triple m written all over it but i think i know who sent this he actually hit me up on twitter right before he sent it and he sent this picture right here holy flipper moly i know he's the most gangster dude of all time and apparently he's a massive fan and he wanted to send something epic. But what scares me the most is we have to declare and write what's like inside the package. It says over $200 worth of goods. Oh! What even is this? I feel like this is a double, like 007 spy episode of Hashtag Triple M. It's like a plastic bag, right? But it's covering this ridiculous box. Let's get the... Oh my... He's got his own artwork as well. Holy flip moly, the hype is so real. I need the uh, Mr. Stanley here because he's taped it all up. And on the front of the package here it says, This package has travelled across the land, searching far and wide. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. In three, two, whoa, wait, there's a t-shirt. There's a flipping t-shirt with a Pokemon and a note. Let's read the uh, let's read the note out first. My name is Trainer Tree and I'm all the way from Ontario, Canada. First up, I want to send a massive Snorlax size thank you for what you're doing on YouTube. Thank you so much, man. The puns, I love them so much. I literally tune in every single day to watch all your Unreal unboxings and what do you reckon? Can you keep doing what you're doing? Definitely, man. No problems at all. But anyway, I know a lot of your fans always love to send you stuff for hashtag triple M, but sometimes under different circumstances they can't actually send things in. So, I thought I'd just cover for everyone and do a holy mac and cheese and meatballs kind of items and pack everything inside this package. Enjoy, yours sincerely, trainer tree. What's in the package? Okay, thank you so much for the length there. I think we've got more delay to come throughout this box. So, first up, the T- I'm pretty sure this is a t-shirt. What the heck? It's got a- oh my gosh. Holy look, look at this. It's got the Pokemon on the front, right? And then his name's like on the side of the uh, sleeve there. I'll definitely wear this like an unboxing video. That is so sick. Thank you so much. And then we've got like a... Oh gosh. Holy flip moly. Don't tell me you said this. Oh please. I literally only just got to wear you like last week. I... Guys. Guys. Oh. He has sent us none other than the limited edition, very official Pikachu Game Boy Color. I don't know how many of you guys remember this or like had one when you were a kid. Or like even on eBay, they go for so much money now. And you have sent it to us. Are you kidding me right now? And that's in like, that's in pretty good condition as well. No way. And then what's inside of this thing? Let's unzip it. Oh, there's all the Pokemon cards. Okay, we'll have a look at all these. No, oh my gosh. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Is this real? We've been sent a... Oh, it's, okay. It's alright. It's a troll. But there's actual cards in there. I'm not even mad. I'm literally... Look at this. Pokemon Base Set 2 Booster Pack. And like, this was like this, so I didn't know it was like not sealed. But it is opened. We'll have a look at that one in a second. But that is so rare. Like, when do you see that lately? Never. They go for so much money. And of course, the flipping cherry on the cake, the Game Boy actually works, and the Pikachu sort of lights up when it's on. That's epic. Holy flip moly. 
thank you so much. It's a flipping gold Pikachu Game Boy Color. It doesn't get much better than this. Then we've got... Oh, yo! This is... What? How much money have you spent on this? Okay, so here we've got... Is this the VC oven? Open me, I dare you. What's going to be inside? A whole bunch of Pokemon stickers. And we've got the original, like, VCR of... What is it? Pokemon Mewtwo vs Mew, the original 151 movie. I didn't even know I have a VCR player, but thank you so much. That's like so old school, the perfect collector's thing. This is the coolest package of all time, but then it doesn't even stop there. Because my absolute main man has gone and sent us an EX Hidden Legends theme deck, right? That's epic. And then another, the other like sort of edition of the EX Hidden Legends theme deck. These are so old school and the fact they're sealed as well. No. Do we open it? I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Should we open these or should I keep it sealed? And then I'm pretty sure this must be like the last thing. I haven't even seen this yet. I didn't even know it was a thing. But the Pokemon Generations binder for Ultra Pro. It's got the original, like, that's the boost back artwork. I didn't even know this was available for sale. So guys, I literally got to the end of the package, right? And then I saw this note and it says, he wants to give back to the community and Trainer Tree wants to give some of this stuff away. I couldn't agree more. What a fantastic idea. Give back to you guys. So thank you so much, Trainer Tree. I really do appreciate all this stuff, but that's a really good idea. So what I'm going to do, leave a comment in the comment section below. You just have to pick one item and why you deserve it or why you want that item. And uh, I'll pick the best comment, announce it next week. So yeah, there's a lot of amazing stuff he sent in. And yeah, I guess you can pick like one sort of item and you can win it for yourself. So this is absolutely incredible, but without further ado, he's actually sent a whole bunch of cards. So good luck, leave a comment in the comment section below, but let's take a look at all the cards that he sent us. Thank you so much. All I'm gonna say is hold your socks on. I've got my like really fluffy socks on and I'm so scared they're gonna go flying off because the cards that Train to Trey has sent us is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't even seen this one before. I'm like, that is the coolest Blastoise Hollow I've seen in Absy Ages, unlisted leaf reverse. Then we've got the Venusaur EX, followed up by none other than the Pokemon Generations Charizard EX as well. And when you're on the floor, you're like, Ando, I can't even take it anymore. We're opening a base set to Pidgeot Purple Pack and these cards. It's really, really bad because my bank account is screaming, Ando, don't do it, but I'm thinking, I need to open another one of these basic booster boxes because this artwork is to die for. I love it so much. But guys, whatever you do, leave a comment in the comment section below and enter the giveaway. Thank you so much, Trainer Trey. So I don't know what today, like, big giant packages that are really, really heavy is, but we've got another one. This literally apparently arrived at the doorstep and I'm so pumped to open it. It is humongous and it costs $64 to get here. $64? Oh! Incredible Hulk! Oh, he's not here. Oh god, I'm so weak. Let's get this bad boy opened. And what am I looking at right now? Dude, dude, dude. This is like the very first thing I see. There's like so much more in here. But there is three flipping games. We oh my gosh. Lego the movie on 3DS. And it's like brand new, you can still see the seal on it. Mario Kart 7. And Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Now is this a troll? I'm not entirely sure. Please don't be a troll. Please don't be a troll. Okay, it's uh, it's like half a troll. There's like a reverse thunderous inside. <laughs> and then it's got like Mario and Donkey Kong DS game. Not even the 3DS game. What's in the rest? Inside Mario Kart 7 is Tamagotchi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tamagotchi Life on 3DS. And then last but not least, we've got Lego the Movie. And inside is no absolutely nothing in a code that I think is used. It's time to <sighs> stop! <laughs> what is- what? Is this actually- oh, I'm terrified right now. It is a Zoom Zombie, still sealed in the box. Like, this is how you buy it on, like, the store shelf. And apparently it's from Monster Zoo? Is that a big thing in America? I've never seen or heard of this before. But you're thinking, Ando, you can't just have one of those. You're right, he's actually gonna send us a second one as well. Oh my gosh, and this one is a Crock-Pot. These names, man. Then we've flipping got like two uh, Pokeballs here. They're the shiny ones that have the gold sort of uh, gold-plated Pokemon cards inside. But for like one reason or another, they're both empty, but I'm all good in the hood. I love these types of Pokeballs. I love the sort of top of them. They're so shiny and so like, I don't know, official. 
This is awesome. I think I've got like six of these now, so this is so sick. Thank you so much, Andy. I really do appreciate this entire package. Even the trolls, they were sick. Because you still send games, like, that's amazing to me. And then, it doesn't even stop there, because he sent a box full of Pokemon cards. So let's check out what Andy sent to us. So inside this big box of cards, I don't know what it was, but there were so many cards in there, and I managed to sort that to a couple. We've got good old Reverse Thunderous, then we've got a whole bunch of different reverses as well. A Reverse Swine Up, because hashtag YOLO. Then we've got the Glass Hollow promo of Zapdos. And to finish it off, none other than the most shiny disco ball of a Pokemon card. It's none other than Raticate Break. I don't know why so many people hate this card. Look at his teeth. They're fantastic. So this last package on today's episode of Hashtag Triple M is actually all the way from a fellow Australian, right? But it feels kind of squishy at the top. Uh, you guys know what happens when there's something squishy inside. It usually means that there's another letter inside the letter. Oh, right. There is, there's a letter within the letter. And it says fragile on the front with a broken glass. What could this be? Let's open the... Uh... Holy flippin' moly! I have literally found the devil! I am not kidding right now! Are you... <laughs> are you looking at this thing right now? Oh my... That's not even a Pikachu! That's like... That's a formation of... All things evil! It's the fattest mouse I've ever seen! Like, he's been snacking on that sewer pizza... And then look at that face! It looks like Aunt Jemima. This is literally the point I'm saying I'm not going to film next week's episode because I'm going to die. Is that even a Pikachu? That's not even a Pikachu. That's some weird... I don't even know what that is. Put it down there. Oh my gosh. What have you sent? And there's another squishy thing in here. And it's like, it's an orange ball. What in the... What? I've, I've actually been sent an annoying orange. I don't know if you've seen this like YouTube TV show, but it's been like all over TV, it's been all over YouTube back in the day. But we've been sent an annoying orange. Look at that monstrous, oh my gosh. This package is all things creepy right now. I'm personally having an inner like panic mode right now. Look at that thing, it's like a stress ball or something. And then like last but not least is a box that has hashtag triple M written on the front and it's taped over, let's open it up. All right, and we open this thing off, oh wow. It's actually like a gold miner stuff. We've got a uh, Yoshi here, like some sort of, I don't know, Yoshi figure. And he's got wheels on the bottom of a Wheels on the bottom of a Yoshi. Hashtag things you wouldn't think you'd see in a Monday. We've also got the Madagascar DS game. Thank you so much. I'll definitely play I've never played that one. Madagascar, that's sick. And then we've got best boost pack ever. We'll see about that one. Open that one in a second. And last but not least, the, the potential weirdest glow. Oh my gosh. This, this is my, this is Mailman Monday right now. This is my life. This is what happens. Hey, But don't let it hear, it's got What's Gonna End We absolutely love your videos so much. We watch them literally every single day. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed all the different random stuff that we sent you. Feel free to rip up any bad card. Dude, I will not rip any bad cards. I'm sure I'll love them all. Sorry for the bad spelling. All the way for yours truly, Jade and Freddy. Thank you so much, Jade and Freddy. All the way from England. I appreciate it. And yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the custom-made best boost pack of all time. Let's do it. But as you're laying there, you're like, Ando, I can't take any more amazing Pokemon cards. Put them away. Don't show me. Guys, he has sent us none other than the absolutely incredible full art Pokemon Battle Reporter. I think this should definitely be more like Pokemon trainer cameos because I love it when that happens and that artwork is so sick. Then we've also got the most amazing hand-drawn Pokemon cards I've ever seen, including this disco ball and party dance move. But thank you so much, guys, for watching the return of Hashtag Triple M. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully enjoyed this episode, and definitely leave a comment in the comment section below for one chance to win any of these items that Ace Trainer Tree, Ace Trainer Tree, that's his name, sent into the show. So definitely leave a comment. Most of you guys would do. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of the week, because it's only Monday. Hopefully made it a bit better, but most of all, I'm going to keep on gaming. All right, guys, I'll see you then.